in the first match of a doubleheader at the Diggle Martin Sporting Complex. Invincible won the toss and opted to bat first versus Paragon Sports and Cultural Club, but lost wickets consistently along the way. The game was reduced to 17 overs after rain interrupted play in the second over. Opener Shamir Ali scored 34 runs while Raphael Ali chipped in with 29. Both Kennard Mason and Sherwin Benjamin took three wickets each for Paragon. Invincible ended on 143 for nine. It left Paragon chasing 144 to win from 102 balls. They too consistently lost wickets. Brent Lezama top scored with an unbeaten 23 as the Paragon stumbled to 109 for 5 in 17 overs, losing by 35 runs on a Duckworth Lewis method. Raphael Ali had 2 for 21 for Invincible. In the day's second game, Ronaldo Sami led police to resounding victory over Barataria ball players. The latter won the toss and opted to bowl first and was met with a 67-run opening partnership between Imran Hussain and Antonio Gonzalez. Hussain hit 28, while Gonzalez made 35. However, it was Sami's power hitting that stole the spotlight. He smashed 71 runs from 36 balls, including eight fours and three sixes. His knock propelled police to 205 for five from their 20 overs. Riyad Emrit chipped in with an unbeaten 32 from 21 balls. In response, opening batsman Rommel Kimaran led the way with 37 for bat area ball players. It was the top score of the innings and included three fours and three sixes. Marlon Phillip hit an aggressive 32, but ball players would only get to 152 for eight before running out of overs. They went down by 53 runs, with Justin Joseph finishing with three for 27 for police. Those results mean that police topped their group by virtue of a better run rate than Santa Cruz. Both teams finish on seven points. In the other group, Glenora Sports Club also finished top of the standings by virtue of a better net run rate. Glenora, Savannah Boys and Invincible all finished on six points, but Savannah Boys pipped Invincible for a semi-final spot. The semi-finals take place on Sunday afternoon, with the first match, Police vs. Savannah Boys at 2 p.m., followed by Glenora against Santa Cruz at 6.30 p.m., all at the Diggle Martin Sporting Complex. Wayne Cunningham, TTT Sport.